Hey Gems, I'm back with another message. It is May 23rd and it's approximately 13.02, okay? Um, I've already prayed, I've already saged and asked my ancestors and guides to lead us in truth, okay? So I'm going to shuffle the cards and then we're going to jump into the energy and see what it holds at this hour. Um, but before we do that, I do want to um, speak on something that is significant about F10, the letter F and the number 10, okay? Um, I, look, I looked it up to see what it meant. And it's pertaining to some type of aircraft, okay? Um, this could be some type of military aircraft. This could be a personal plane, okay? But F2 is of significance, okay? It also could be a pickup truck. However, I'm really confident it's something about a plane. And it could be a F10 design, okay? So I don't know what that means but maybe that will resonate with someone else um i know last night i did a reading a quick little reading it was something about a plane in there there could be somebody could drive an f10 plane okay um maybe there's a pilot that you know if you drive an f10 plane maybe you need to be on the um look out for that or something i don't know or this can be a war plane um but it's something about f10 that is of significance Okay, something can take place on Friday, which is tomorrow, right? Someone smokes cigarettes here. Okay, um, this could be a woman or not, but someone definitely smokes cigarettes. Okay, something could happen on a Friday pertaining to some cigarettes. We have contaminated air. Okay, so. I was just hearing something about traveling. I don't know what it is, but y'all that are traveling, please protect yourself the best way you can. I'm not sure it's in a country because this also came out the other night, and I didn't I didn't post about it. But it's some country shit. I don't know if it's here in the USA or somewhere, but it's some country where the air is contaminated. Okay, and this is known about okay whatever this is I'm, it's known about okay but this is intentionally to cause harm to travelers so y'all be careful i don't know if it's you know something about smoke or something like that because we have cigarettes here smoke and or something like that but it's something pertaining to um contaminated air here okay um and i feel like this is something that's known about but you know of course they're not going to let us know about it so y'all be careful when y'all are traveling okay Then we have Monday and Thursday. So um, Friday is ruled by Venus, and that has everything to do with, um, you know, self-care, um, relationships, love, and something like that here. That's also um, Libra and Taurus could be significant. We have Monday. This has everything to do with the moon. So that's Cancer or Pisces, but I don't, I mean, the moon is ruled by, you know, the cancer, but some people say, you know, represents Pisces in the tarot deck. Um, <clears throat> and this has everything to do with your spiritual development, healing, and creativity. And then we have Thursday, which is ruled by Jupiter, and that is Sagittarius, okay? And this has everything to do with self-improvement, finances, and travel, okay? So it's something significant about Monday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? Um, maybe y'all are going to be traveling. Some people are going to be traveling these days, okay? Um I don't know, but y'all need to be careful of this contaminated air wherever you're traveling, traveling to. Okay. Um, we definitely have here someone who, you know, likes what they see, whether it's male or female. Um, you can be in any one of these signs, okay? Or this can be the person who feels like you are walking art. But someone definitely, and this does not necessarily mean that, you know, this has something to do with your, your looks, Okay. I was also getting this could have something to do with your creativeness, okay? Um, maybe you're someone who has expressed uh, your creativeness in a unique way, and someone feel like you're just fucking art, okay? 
Okay, so somebody is sick here. Some type of incurable ailment here, okay? Um, someone could find that they have lung cancer or something like this here because we do have cigarette smoke or, or something. But someone definitely has some type of incurable ailment here. What can be on the verge? Maybe it's somebody trying to quit smoking or something like that. Or this is them contaminated air here. And child, we got zombies came out right after that. Okay. So I'm telling y'all, it's something about the air quality that is causing some type of sickness in individuals here. And this could really happen. People around here looking like some type of damn zombies or something like that. I don't know, but it's something about zombies that are significant here. And whatever this is, this is a life-threatening issue here. Something that is going to alter you significantly. That can ultimately end up um, in the passing of a, a few individuals here. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing humans, child. So I don't know. Maybe this is an attack on the human race. I don't know. Who would be trying to attack the human race, though? So something that is non-human. Something about elevation. And I'm hearing smoke and we have cigarette smoke here. All right. Um, and then we have this empire is crumbling. Okay. So something is definitely falling apart here. Okay. Um, I don't know. Somebody's empire is definitely falling apart. And for it to fall apart, it has to be something that is significant. And then we have transit. And this has everything to do with moving. You know, this could be the planetary, you know, uh, planets that are moving. Or this can have something to do with transport. Okay. Somebody is going to and fro. Okay. Some type of travel here is significant. And then I just said F-10 aircraft. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, somebody knows they have an incurable ailment here. Somebody knows they have an incurable ailment and they are trying to give this to someone intentionally. Someone has an STD and they're trying to intentionally infect someone else, y'all. So y'all just make sure y'all are being careful who, again, I think didn't this come out last night, but it wasn't last night, it was the night before last. Be careful of who you're laying down with, who is trying to persuade you into having some type of sexual relationship. Because somebody could be trying to do this because they, you know, they don't want to suffer alone, okay? Um, somebody trying to connect you to them in a way that is not good here, all right? However, we do have here, um, the veil has been lifted here. So whoever was doing something to someone, um, covering, you know, covering something up with spell work or, you know, lies or whatever this is, it's no longer working here, okay? And this could be the cause of this fucking empire that's crumbling, Okay. Something is about to fall down. All right, we have breaking free. This could be someone, or this could be a group of individuals. Okay, something is falling apart here. And in some type of lies or some type of spell work is what was keeping this shit going. But like I said, it's not working anymore. Child, and then we got illnesses inside of a vaccine. So let me find out if somebody intentionally trying to contaminate the air to get people to come in, you know, some type of cold, flu, cough or something like that to get somebody to come in and try to do this fucking experiment on people with this damn illness inside of this vaccine that's turning people into fucking zombies. Because, I, you know, I heard the human race, you know what I'm saying? So they're trying to, I don't try, I don't know. This was a plan, okay? This was either the plan that they were trying to do and this shit is falling apart here. Or this is something that they have been doing and, and it's being made known about. Somebody's embarrassed. Yeah. Somebody's embarrassed because, you know, whatever this is that they were doing, it's going to be a lot of people who know about this, okay? Um, this could be somebody who has a power position, you know, somebody's supposed to be a leader, someone who's supposed to be um, loving, nurturing, and caring of a lot of people, okay? Um, but somebody's definitely going to be fucking embarrassed because people are going to see them for who they truly are.
And then we have a movie producer here. So um, this could be a movie producer that's involved in this on in some way, shape, way, or form, okay? Or this movie producer is seeing things clearly here. Shit, they could be trying to make a movie out of this shit. I don't know. But a movie producer is definitely significant here. Yeah, somebody's definitely sick here. They're losing weight as we speak. We have to lose weight due to a sickness. So, and this is some type of STD, some type of incurable STD here. Someone could be in, I'd be embarrassed about this, okay? Somebody could be looking like a zombie to somebody. I don't know, but we definitely have to lose weight due to sickness here. Um, yeah, somebody does somebody somebody's trying to lead someone again, and someone just does not want this relationship to be over, okay? Um, someone is willing to do anything to keep someone connected to them, even by trying to trap them with a incurable disease here, okay? Um someone just wants someone to leave them alone. This person turns them off, okay? They want you to know that it's over, okay? They don't want anything else to do with you. They do not love you nor like you, okay? But someone does not want to leave someone alone. Road rage. So somebody, when I did just having a reading that I did earlier, I have not posted. It was something about a DUI. Um, but y'all be careful, you know, somebody can get into a, uh, argument, accident or something, pertain to some type of road rage, okay? Might get into a fight or something, but it's something about road rage that is significant here. Um, yeah, so it looks like you have some people with some titles who enforce the law, who are watching you, um, to gather some type of information. I don't know if these are the one that's on the up right here or... You know the corrupt ones but you definitely have some individuals who um enforce the law who is watching your channel if you have some type of platform where you speak about certain things they're definitely watching your channel future person here so um your future person could be <clears throat> trying to get away from someone and they don't want to let them go or you could be the damn future person jim and somebody just don't want to let your ass go here okay or shit. some of y'all future persons could be in law enforcement i don't know Yeah, okay. So I know I thought I saw some so diamonds. Somebody can be buying diamonds or something like that, or somebody feel like you are diamond. Okay, but it's something significant about diamonds, gems here. Okay. I'm gonna shop for some jewelry. Diamond ring. All right, a free spirit. So someone sees someone as a free spirit, okay? Someone just flows with the universe. This person could be shopping for a diamond or somebody could be shopping for a diamond for this person. And then we have here, yeah, you definitely had somebody who was, you know, this individual told a whole bunch of lies on you to keep other suitors away from you, okay? And maybe somebody is seeing the truth now. Um, somebody wanted to go play the field. And while they played the field, they wanted to make sure you stayed single. So somebody definitely spread a lot of untruths about you. And this person could went out there and played a little too much in that field and got a damn bird flu, playing with them birds, and I got a flu. Or something like that, child. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, somebody could be have an alcohol addiction here. Okay, this can be another um, incurable ailment here. Somebody can have something going on with their liver or kidneys from abusing alcohol. Okay, so y'all definitely be you know treat your body right, man. <clears throat> Whoever you are, um, but somebody just is addicted to alcohol. Okay, we got two cards. We got child neglect. Somebody could be drinking so much, okay? Somebody could be trying to um, ease their pain to where they're neglecting their own offspring here, which is never good, okay? 
Jim, shit, somebody could have been saying this about you because we did have here um, was lying on you to keep people away from you. So somebody could have been saying if you got ch children or a child, somebody could have been saying that you, you know, you drink all day and you don't take care of your child, okay? <laughs> all right. And then we have 77, and it's funny, this card came out because when I got off earlier from recording, my, I looked at my percentage on my phone and it said 77%. So 77 is definitely significant here. This has everything to do with happiness. And this came out last night. Some of y'all are getting ready to walk into um, a time of happiness. Or maybe you could be encouraging somebody. You could be guiding someone or someone is doing this to you, okay? But know that luck is definitely on your side, okay? And it does indicate happiness. Yeah, somebody want to come in and say they didn't mean it, okay? Somebody going to want to come in and apologize, you know, for the lies that they told on you, okay? Um, somebody might be trying to bring a ring in to you to try to apologize. I don't know, but somebody definitely wants to come in and say that they didn't mean it, Jim. This is going to be up to you to discern whether this person is deserving of being in your life again or not, okay? I can't tell you, yeah, no, baby girl, but boy. Yeah, well, you may feel like this person does not hold any weight in your life, okay? Um, this person is a lightweight. You feel like this person don't hold no weight. It's, this may be how you feel when this person, you know, come back towards you. Maybe, you know, they've done some things that you just feel like you make you look at them in a different way, view them differently, and they just don't hold any weight in your life anymore. They don't hold any space in your um, energy anymore, in your world. Um, somebody's doing womb magic here, okay? Um of course, somebody's mad and, you know, they don't want you to have a baby, whether you be the male or the female. Um, I'm, I mean, of course, you're you're the woman who's going to carry this child. But I'm saying this can be the, the woman who is doing this, you know, that's connected to somebody's old person, which could be a man. OK, or this can be a man that's doing this to a woman here. But somebody definitely does not want you to conceive here. OK, and then we have a nephew. So someone's nephew was involved in this situation in some way, shape, way or form here. Hmm. Someone could be neglecting their, their son. Okay. So I'm like six cards here. So you want to get down like this. They don't want to pop out. I'm going to have a full please that I have in my hand. Let's see. All right. So the first card out, we have a Pisces. So this nephew can be a Pisces or this nephew is connected to a Pisces here. Okay. Or Pisces is significant in this equation. You can be the Pisces or somebody else. Meeting you meeting your soul tribe. So a Pisces could be getting ready to meet their soul tribe. Okay. Or Pisces is uh connected to someone's soul tribe. Um, yeah, somebody definitely stole from another individual here. This came out last night, so this, you know, it definitely means something here. We have the, you know, damn right, I forged that check and went out and enjoyed myself at your expense. So somebody stole something from you. This can even be fraud because that came up in the last reading. Somebody used your social security number to go out and do things um, acting like it was you and you knew nothing about it here. Okay, this can also be have something to do with the courts because we had something going on in the last reading about a court case going on and people just damn sure trying to do, you know, going to high hell, um, hell and high waters trying to get something to go in their favor in a corrupt way here, okay? So somebody definitely went up in the front of the court of law and made a lot of false accusations about, you know, some money that they have hidden in offshore bank accounts here, okay? Somebody's vehicle is being vandalized, okay? Stripped down. This could be somebody trying to, you know, move on for another from another individual and somebody, you know, is paying someone to vandalize someone else's vehicle here, but we definitely have vehicle being vandalized, vehicle vandalism here, okay? Um, this can be a female here. So it is a female, somebody, you know, that could have some type of issue with herself. Okay, downstairs here. Um, because we have here the smelly vagina car here. So somebody definitely have um something here that is not correct with them downstairs. All right. And then we have the Lincoln lawyer here. So this is my good lawyer card here. So maybe this person um is working with the 
law officials who are on the upright to bring you some type of good news here, okay? Somebody could be trying to vandalize your car, okay? Because we did have, they was doing rituals on a court case here. So somebody could be trying to do something to you, okay? Um, So y'all just be watchful and keep your energy clean. We have a bus that is significant here, and this is a vehicle that you drive. This can be a bus that's being stripped down or something like that, okay? Somebody could drive a bus. Somebody could be a bus driver here. Um, I don't know, but it's something significant about a bus here. And then we have here, I fantasize about you when I'm intimate with other people. So somebody said they fantasize about you when they're being intimate with others. Two is significant here. Um, somebody's that, yeah, somebody wants to say that I once felt you were my source. Now, when I look at you, all I feel is remorse. I think it's time for me to change course. I want a divorce. So somebody is definitely trying to get a divorce or they're trying to put it into a relationship. And this is the person who does not want to allow another individual to walk away. Okay. They're doing everything in their power to keep this person around. And they're looking like a clown because this person does not want you. Okay. This person does not feel anything for you. Okay. Whatever spell work you was placing over this individual is no longer working. Okay. The veil has been lifted off of this person's eyes here. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> let go of my energy. Damn it. Somebody does not want to let you go. And they're doing anything, just speaking ill on the person who you want to be with, okay, in hopes that you would, you know, change your mind and stay with them, okay? They're even trying to do spell work on you and this person. And we already have out here womb magic, okay? So they don't, you know, maybe y'all are supposed to come together and have a child and they don't want this. They're doing anything in their power to try to stop this from happening, but it's not going to happen, okay? The only sign we have out here is a Pisces. So somebody could be doing this to a Pisces or a Pisces could be doing this to someone. <clears throat> Bodies in the attic. <clears throat> so somebody may, you know, find a body or bodies in the attic here. Maintenance man. A maintenance man can go, you know, do some work in the home and they can, you know, find... The remains of someone in the attic here, okay? Or somebody can go in a maintenance man house and find some damn bodies in the attic. Vice president. I don't know what vice president this is. This can be a vice president of the country, uh, of a company, um, but a vice president is significant here. Yeah, someone don't like you. Someone does not like how you shine. Someone does not like your growth, okay? So they're intentionally trying to do things to disturb your peace, okay? Um, this can be an estheticianist here, okay? Um, this could be somebody who works in beauty, okay? Somebody can do hair, makeup, lashes, nails, okay? A barber. Um, somebody can work at a spa here, okay? I had a dream a night about somebody working in a beauty salon. So same sex here, something about a same sex tape. Child, if somebody got a, somebody on tape with the same sex, somebody might be trying to threaten to hold that over somebody's head. I'm hearing IG generated, child. So somebody could be trying to, you know, do something to make it look like something it's not, okay? And then we have integrity and value. So somebody definitely want to ruin your integrity. Somebody wants to um, try to say that you don't have integrity or you shouldn't be valued, okay? Or you don't value yourself or something like that, you know? Um, however, we have the eye of horse here, and this has everything to do with protection, health, and restoration. So whatever they're doing, it's not going to work, especially if it's something, you know, I don't know, but whatever this is, it's not going to work. If something was not in balance, it's going to come in balance. And then we have hit a winding moon. <clears throat> and this has everything to um, do with, um, you know, so y'all need to stay focused, whoever you are. Stay focused because something is wrapping up at this time. Um, some Oh, shit. And we have to like them young. So try somebody could be being outed about somebody liking somebody young. And they can have a same sex tape with somebody on the damn tape, you know, this could be somebody nephew or something like that, child. I don't know. 
And then we have that they know you speak the truth. So whoever you are, if you're some type of speaker, you definitely speak the truth and people know this shit. They don't like it. Somebody say they need you. Tan is significant. The color tan is significant. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna since this color came out, I'm gonna talk about this dream that I had last night. <clears throat> so I end up washing a bed sheet, okay? And the color of this bed sheet was white tan and it had a little bit of gray in it, okay? Um it was a brand new bed sheet. It was like nothing was wrong with it, but I ended up washing it and then I ended up putting it inside of a trash can, a black trash can, okay? Um, and in a dream, I'm like, oh my God, why am I throwing this in a trash can? So if something could be significant about some bed sheets here, somebody could be trying to get rid of some type of evidence or something, or something wrapped up in a bed sheet, a comforter, um, and you know, the whole comforter set, bed sheets, pillowcase, all that, I was throwing it away in a dream. So it could be some type of evidence or something significant about a bed sheet. A motorcycle, somebody can drive a tan motorcycle. Or something about a motorcycle is significant. Owe someone a lot of money. So someone owes someone a lot of money here, okay? Somebody that drives a motorcycle owes somebody a lot, a lot of money. Or um, somebody owes a mo somebody who drives a motorcycle a lot of money. This could be a motorcycle gang. Somebody owes someone a lot of money here, okay? Arsonist, so somebody could be trying to set something on fire, getting rid of evidence. The grass was not greener on the other side, so somebody went towards somewhere else that they felt it was going to be better for them, and they see that it was a trick here. Um, somebody trying to block somebody's root chakra. Um, this has everything to do with your stability, um, your sense of smell, your patience. Okay, this can also your physical existence. Okay, somebody could trying to block this. Um, basement below ground level something is taking place here we got bodies in the attic and then we have the basement somebody could be burning something underground okay somebody could be i don't know somebody could be a farmer here or somebody planting a garden hospitalized somebody could have been hospitalized or somebody going to be hospitalized here Somebody can get in a motorcycle accident or something like this here, or somebody can, you know, suffer some, for some type of burns. And when I was just picking this card up, I did have the burn unit here. Burn unit. And I know, you know, if you get in a motorcycle accident and you ain't got no protection, you can, you know, burn yourself up real roll burn, you know? So something happened like that, or somebody could just end up in the um, first lady here. So it, it, ever since I made that first lady card, because, you know, the bishop or pastor always was coming out, and the church came out in the last um, video here. Um, this first lady has been coming out. So whoever this woman is that's a part of a church or some type of organization, this bitch crooked as fuck, whoever she is, okay? And she tried to get her ass up there. And that like she's somebody of God, but she's really not. And then we have here, um, you do not deserve your life nor the power that comes with it. So this could have been the individual who was connected to other individuals who was trying to um stop you and wanted whatever was right for yours your birthright okay this person wanted to stop and block that and they wanted to become you or this can just be a group of goddamn cause supposed to be christians who you know think they better than you or you know they have more ranking than you and they ain't got a motherfucking thing and we already know that because how you coming from somebody because of whatever reasons okay who told you that you was better than this individual because you gave yourself a fucking uh, title here because you know how to read the fucking Bible, stroke scriptures and all that shit. That make you somebody of God. That make you somebody on the upright. Because whoever the fuck you are, you definitely not. I told you, you the devil's door. You work at a lower vibration. You hold your fucking nose up in the air, but you ain't fucking shit. And then we had a Virgo that just popped out. So this woman could be a Virgo, but it was in the reverse. So this person is a low vibrational Virgo or, you know, a Virgo is significant here. So the signs we have here is Pisces and a Virgo. That are of significance here. Yeah. So whoever you are, your donations and shit. I'm telling this, this these church members and all this shit here, they stealing your money. I don't know who they know that's in this business, but they stealing your damn money. They stealing your donations. Okay. Yeah. But whoever they is, they they see now that speaking ill on your name ain't safe because whatever the fuck they've been doing to you is definitely. Listen to this shit. And then alchemists fall out. So whoever you are, you are an alchemist. Okay. 
You know how to turn things around, okay? You know how to work with what you have here, okay? They've been trying to hold your money back, your donation, and, and try, you know, they want to basically fuck with your finances. Something about land and acreage here, okay? They wanted to fuck with your finances, okay? To try to make you, you know, I don't know, be in a state of um, desperation or something like this here. They wanted you to lack in your finances here, but you are an alchemist, baby. You're going to make it do what it do with whatever it is that you have, okay? You know how to work with what you have. You know how to turn something negative into a fucking positive. This person is very, um, this person has a sex addiction. Somebody has a sex addiction here. This person is overly sexual. This person could have been saying this about you, Jim, but you know, the thing about it is everything these motherfuckers been trying to claim you are is who they are. And the truth is coming out. People are going to really see this person, a person for who they are. And that's why the I'm embarrassed card came out. Bitch, don't be embarrassed. Stand in your truth. You set your funky ass up there sitting there talking about somebody else, telling lies and got pleasure off of it. But when the truth come out about you, you want to be embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed, baby girl. Don't be embarrassed. Somebody can have tattoos. Yeah, they now see that you ain't nobody to be fucked with, Jim. Whoever you are, they see that you ain't nobody to be to be messed with. Yeah, somebody was wearing a costume, okay? Somebody is not who they say that they are, okay? Or it's something about you. You don't look like who you don't look like you hold as much weight as you do, okay? Or this must be somebody trying to, you know, change their appearance or somebody just, you know, simply ain't who they say they fucking are. Here we go with this O oh, trafficking. It's something significant about O oh, trafficking. The letter O oh, trafficking. India. This could be going on in India or somebody connected to India is significant here. And then we have that they want your consciousness. So somebody could be trying to do something to you to cause you some type of sickness to take your consciousness. Your cognizance, okay? We have a, a stand who is sick, obsessed person. Oh, we have a cancer here. We have India and we have a cancer here that is significant. Yeah. Hmm. All right. And then we have caught a drug case or so somebody could be, you know, catching a drug case and somebody is afraid of somebody tapping in. Somebody is seeing the truth here, okay? Somebody is seeing uh, something clearly here and this has somebody panicking. This has someone panicking. Yeah, this motherfucker panicking so much that they losing weight to stress. They stressing their fucking stuff out. Yeah, this warlock. So this person from India could be some type of warlock, a dark priestess here. Or they could have been paying somebody from this, okay? Or they, you know, the stress like the people are seeing them as the damn dark ma magician here, okay? Yeah, and somebody wants you to know we may not be together physically, but you will always have my heart. A politician here is connected to this individual. This can be a politician saying this to somebody else. So we do have a vice president. Um, I don't know. And then we have a, a big fat crush. So somebody got a big fat crush on you, child. It could be somebody working the justice system. Male or female, whoever you are. Okay. Um, 88 is significant. Love you all. Later.